Hey guys, I'm doing a quick little premium accessory haul. Um, I was thinking of filming a proper big haul because I got loads of new clothes. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna show you guys the new accessories that I got and um, for the clothes you will see all of them in my upcoming Paris Fashion Week uh, videos. Instagram posts, so make sure you follow me on Instagram. This is my handle. So every time I post my outfit I'm gonna tag where each item is from um, So yeah, make sure you check those out. Let's uh, get started with the accessories I have two pairs of sunglasses. I know it's not sunglasses season at all, but I still do one handbag and one pair of shoes and um, yeah, I'm gonna start with this one. So I got myself Mimi Sunnies. By the way, these items are from months ago, but they're all available. So I'm gonna link them down below in the info bar. So make sure you check that as well. Um, okay, so these Sunnies are from Mimi. Their packaging is the most beautiful. It's like pink velvet, so gorgeous. And also look at the inside of the box. So pretty. So I got them just before my trip to the south of France. I wore them there already like in my vlogs and in my pictures so you guys would have seen these already. They're currently in the sale as well so you can get them for a really great discount. Oh my god they have tons of fingerprints on them. This is what they look like. They're mirrored sunglasses and what I liked about them is that they are super skinny. I mean look at this frame. So they have these tortoise print um, arms. This is plastic and like a very thin gold frame. And uh, the lenses are actually rose gold. It's like yellow, orange and pink mixed together, which makes them, I don't know, in some lights they look peachy. I guess it's more of a peachy color. In some they look rosy, in some they look yellow really depends on what angle you look at them from um, and they are so light like you don't feel them on your face they are extremely light and they're super summery like these are not the type of sunglasses I would wear in winter. Even in winter, if it's a sunny day and there's a lot of snow, it's so bright and reflective that you definitely need sunglasses. It's hard to dry with winter sun, but these are definitely not the ones I would wear in winter because they're just, they're like holiday sunglasses, extremely summery, so beautiful um, and yeah, very light, very pretty. I got these on Matches Fashion, but I believe I saw them in the sale somewhere. I think my Theresa, maybe. I'm gonna link them down below um, with a discount. And then the other pair I actually didn't purchase myself. I got as a part of the collaboration with Filman. So they opened a Filman shop in Kleipedas Acropolis not too long ago. Collaborated with them and Ray-Ban. I was lucky enough to go and choose a pair of Ray-Bans that I wanted and I always really like these. So, you know, it was a no-brainer for me really. I immediately went for these. And uh, they have so many Ray-Ban models in this Filman shop. I cannot tell the exact name of this model, but again, they will be linked below. And actually, this particular pair that I got is uh, Ray-Ban's collaboration with Ferrari. So that's why they have these red leather um, arms. And I just love this detail so much because it makes them different to all the other Ray-Bans. They also have a little Ferrari logo here in the corner. You cannot really see it, it's not too obvious so I don't mind it. I mean if you don't like that, if you don't want the red or the little Ferrari logo, you can go for, you know, just simple ones from the regular collection. But this, I believe, is limited edition one. Um, now these are amazing. I love them so much. These are the type of sunglasses that I, I would wear any season. I mean, they're classic. They go with everything. Winter, summer, autumn, doesn't really matter. Again, very skinny gold frame and kind of greenish um, lenses. They're so nice. And they have these in so many different colors. They have the mirrored ones in blue and purple, in rose gold. And they have like these um, more traditional classic ones. And I feel like these are very cool sunnies. I already show them in my Vlogmas videos um, on the exact day that I got them. So you would have seen these already. Sorry if I'm repeating myself, but yeah, I just really, really like them. Might be my favorite sunglasses in my collection at the moment. 
and uh, I didn't go for the Ferrari <laughs> black Ferrari case I asked if they could give me the classic one which they did but if you want you can go for that okay the item number three is uh, a gorgeous handbag I posted it on my Instagram I think a couple of months ago it's from an Italian brand called Villa Trentuno um, such a beautiful box so basically this is a brand of handmade handbags and they have if I'm not mistaken five different models of a handbag so you choose the model that you want and then you can select the color of the leather that you want so it's extremely fun I mean I just love this idea that you can kind of custom make your own bag so um, and if you guys follow me on Instagram and my Insta stories, you would remember that I posted a poll. I created six different color combinations and I asked you guys to vote on which ones were your favorite. So I'm going to show you which one I chose in the end. So this is the handbag. It is so unique and so special and I am extremely happy with the color combination I chose. It was really hard. Honestly, I spent hours deciding and like creating different ones and I was like, mm, I'm not sure which one should I go for, which one is more practical. This is the result. Um, and you can choose whether you want gold or silver hardware. Obviously, I went for gold. For uh, the top part, I chose this kind of nude color. Then here um, is this kind of purple, kind of violet um, suede panel. And here you have suede as well. And then on the bottom, instead of going for a light nude color, um, and the back as well. Here's the stamp of the brand. I went for this kind of, what would you call it? Like a black cherry color. And I think it's absolutely stunning. It's so chic and so beautiful. It is a top handle bag. You can wear it like that. It's not super comfortable because there's not a lot of space for your arm to move. So it's mostly a top handle bag and you cannot really place it anywhere because it's just gonna roll like that. You have to put it on like that, I suppose. Um, but yeah, it just makes the handbag so unique, so special. You probably won't see a lot of people carrying this bag. I'm sure it would be a conversation starter because it's a very eye-catching bag and it's so stunning. So it has a little popper, you open it up, and it has a shoulder uh, strap, which I personally don't like. I mean, I really like that the hooks are kind of oval like that yeah um i would remove the shoulder strap because i don't know it just that to me doesn't go with this bag so here is the inside of the bag and what i was surprised by is that here on the inside i've got my name written in gold and it says um, per Yeva number 27 so I believe this is the 27th handbag that they made so I mean you can imagine that not a lot of people are gonna have it it's so incredible that they are all handmade it's a very small I believe it's family owned business um, from Italy and Oh my god, like I love their handbags. They're so incredibly special. You can choose one color. To me, all white with this um, gold handle looks incredible as well. Cannot wait to rock this bag in Paris Fashion Week. I think it's gonna look absolutely stunning. This color combination is more of an autumn winter. I would say than um, summer. Like I probably wouldn't wear this bag in the summer, but oh my god. Isn't it so, so gorgeous? So yeah, just, I couldn't wait to show this back to you guys. And lastly, I've got a pair of shoes from Alberta Ferretti. She's actually also an Italian designer. So, I got myself some velvet boots. They actually came with this big, shiny dust bag. I'm sure it's massive. This is the boot. Uh, these are lace-up booties. Um, and it's hard to tell what color these are. It's like a gunmetal color with a tinge of green. In some light they look hacky, in some they look brown. 
and in some they look gunmetal so it's it's a very hard to describe um, sort of color they're all velvet and they have these kind of silky laces and I obviously haven't worn them out yet but I cannot wait to do that they're perfect autumnal boots they have a uh, like a pretty skinny heel, but it's not too high. It's like a wearable heel. It's still high, but not killer heels And I love that they have pointy toes. So yeah, they're currently in the sale as well So I'm gonna link them down below. I got them on shopbob.com I think they would look incredible with like a flowy silky skirt You can wear these with a dress and black tights. You can wear them with a black skinny jeans So yeah guys, these are my new booties. You will see me wearing these in uh, the pictures from Paris Because I'm definitely taking them with me. So yeah guys, that's gonna be it for this mini haul I hope you liked it. Do let me know in the comment section whether you like these kind of little hauls with only a few pieces or you prefer like big collective hauls with a ton of stuff um, so should I film more frequently or just do one big haul love you guys loads and I will see you soon once I'm back from Paris <laughs> bye